So Canada got a new Prime Minister today? But wait a second, I hear you say. Didn't Canada already get a new Prime Minister several weeks ago on the big election of October 19th? Wrong! Although the glamorous Justin Trudeau was in fact elected Prime Minister of Canada on October 19th, it has taken until today, November 4th, for him to officially assume office. Why the delay? Well, let's take a look at how the whole Prime Minister system works in Canada. So every Canadian political party has a single boss, and during a Canadian national election, those party bosses are the candidates for Prime Minister. But Canadians don't vote for Prime Minister candidates directly, they instead elect 338 members of Parliament, each one representing a district of about 100,000 people. The boss of the political party that gets the most people elected to Parliament becomes the Prime Minister. In this case, it was Justin Trudeau, the leader of the Liberal Party of Canada, who last month won 184 of Parliament's 338 seats. But you see, Canada's the political system is also very stupid in a way that makes it much more complicated than it needs to be. So even though Canada is now an independent country, Canada still recognizes the British monarch as the head of the Canadian political system and the supreme repository of all political authority. Under Canadian law, Elizabeth II, this number, is literally given the title Queen of Canada. But since old Liz is busy with other stuff back in England, she appoints a guy called the Governor General to exercise her authority inside of Canada. In reality, this person is just appointed by the Government of Canada and the Queen probably wouldn't recognize him if she ran over him with her carriage, but let's just play along with the fantasy because everybody else is expected to. So anyway, after somebody wins an election, the Governor General has to officially give them permission to take office. And on October 3rd, 30th Governor General Johnston formally sent Justin Trudeau an invitation to come to his big mansion for that purpose. And that leads us to today. So Justin Trudeau walks over to the Governor General's house and look, everybody's all happy and stuff. And then everybody takes their seats inside the big ballroom. And then this woman, who's basically head of the Canadian bureaucracy, goes up to the Governor General and she's like, Hey, Mr. Governor General, is it okay if I make Justin Trudeau Prime Minister now? And he's like, sure. And then Justin Trudeau comes up and takes his Bible and the bureaucracy lady makes him take the oath of office, which is very long and involves making lots of promises of loyalty to the Queen. By the way, Justin Trudeau apparently does not know how to pronounce the word heirs. Queen of Canada, her heirs and successors. Anyway, here's the important part. That I will truly and faithfully and to the best of my skill and knowledge, execute the powers and trusts reposed in me as Prime Minister, so help me God. Then all of Prime Minister Trudeau's various cabinet people get sworn in one at a time. And then at the very end, the Governor General gives the Great Seal of Canada, which is this big heavy stamp thing to the minister in charge of official record keeping. This is important in some way. And everybody is very happy because Canada has a new government and everything is completely different now. By the way, before I go, I want to ask you a question about something. The Governor General's office says that Justin Trudeau is the 23rd Prime Minister of Canada, which sounds really low. And it is true that only 23 humans have been Prime Minister. However, throughout Canadian history, a lot of people have served as Prime Minister on two or more non-consecutive occasions. Justin Trudeau's own father, for instance, was Prime Minister twice, once from 1968 to 1979, and once from 1980 to 1984, with some different guy in between. Don't you think that that means that the old man Trudeau should count as two different Prime Ministers? I mean, by this logic, if former Prime Minister Brian Mulroney came out of retirement and somehow beat Justin Trudeau in the next election, that would mean Canada was back to its 18th Prime Minister? That doesn't make sense. So anyway, you can tell me how right I am in the comments below, and let's all send our fond wishes to Justin Trudeau, the 28th Prime Minister of Canada. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching my video. By the way, if you want to learn more about Canada's big exciting election, be sure to check out these three previous videos I made about it. I've also made a new playlist of all my various Canada-themed videos, so be sure to check that out as well. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe.